like a mighty rushing wind, they heard him. You ever heard a real good strong wind? I don't know about a good one, but a strong wind? It'll make a heck of a racket. And let that same sound get in a room. That was a sound. They didn't say it was a wind, but the sound of one. And then cloven tongues as of fire. Sat on them. Well, praise God. And they began to do something they never did in their life. As much as the time they spent with Jesus and doing the miracles that, that Jesus had told them to go do and granted them the authority to do it, they had never experienced anything like this. And they began to speak in a language they'd never known before. Their tongue was saying things that their mind knew nothing of, but yet they were speaking. And they were speaking as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. Holy Spirit gave them utterance. People have been tried to be filled with the Spirit and they think the Spirit of God, they think the Holy Ghost is going to talk with their mouth shut. He won't do it. He can't. It's your mouth. It's your tongue. But you ha this, this takes faith, friend. It takes faith just like believing in Jesus. I believe in Him. I put my faith out there and I believe on Him. I confess Him with my mouth. Amen. And it, all it takes is faith and obedience to receive the Holy Ghost. Praise God. He won't do the talking. You have to. People have struggled with that for a long time. You have to talk. Amen. I don't believe I could. You can't. Yeah. But, but the Holy Spirit can give you utterance when he, He'll come in and fill you. And you can speak by the Spirit of God. Some people say, I don't know about all that. It's all in the Bible. It's everywhere in the Bible. Don't you want it? Don't you want what God wants for you? Don't you want a, don't you want a wonderful gift that if you think if God had a gift for you, it'd be wonderful? Huh? Don't, don't you think if God had a gift for you, it'd be wonderful? Wouldn't it be awesome? Almighty God comes up and says, I'm going to give you something, boy. Got something for you. Would you say, nah, I don't want that. Nah, I don't think I want that. Well, he's a wonderful God. Anything he'd have to give is wonderful. But here people have struggled. And I know, now listen, I know about some of these things because I struggled with the same old thing for a long time. I was filled with the Holy Ghost. And when I was filled, I heard, I heard these, I sensed them, I knew them. I heard words. When I say tongues, I heard words that were of another language. They come right up to here, and I went, mm -mm -mm. what a mistake in my life. All I had to do is go, shake his day, make it a little tie. Oh, the devil beat me. He might as well, to, he might as well, he beat me over that. He said, you didn't get filled. You didn't speak in nothing. But I knew on the inside, I knew I did. I knew it. And I struggled for a long time over that. I didn't know that I could just open my mouth and speak. I didn't know it. I'd heard before in time past during different old things. If you listen to some people, they'll give you the impression that the only time you can speak by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Ghost, is when something is happening or, or you're in a church service and the, and the music is blasting or, or praise is going on. But something's got to be different than normal. Or 
you just get a real blessing and then you can speak something in, in that language. But you start reading the Bible and it's not so. Paul said, I will speak with the Spirit. And I will speak with the understanding also. He said, I pray in tongues more than y'all. All of them? Boy, that's tongue-talking bunch. Man, Paul had to do a lot of praying in the Spirit to talk more than all of them. Whoa. He said, but in the church service, I'd rather speak five words in my own understanding that you can know what I'm talking about. Amen. This is not, it's not meant for, it's not meant for, it, there's no way that can edify you uh, by giving you any kind of information unless someone... Prays in tongues and interprets. Or speaks in tongues. It's a difference. And then someone interprets. In these gifts. And then you can know by interpretation what that's saying. Somebody said, but I don't understand all that. Won't you just believe it? 